What is going on, everybody? I want to take a look at NFL preseason one and some headlines, some storylines on what went around the league, some of these players. Some of these players get drafted first overall, first round. They got high expectations with their new clubs. And I want to see, even though it's just preseason, I get it, it is a total difference. I mean, you look at the Eagles' first D-line that they set up there compared to their last. I get it. It's totally different. But they got to start somewhere, and I want to take a look. The first guy on the menu here is Baker Mayfield. He had a great day. He had a great day with the Cleveland Browns. He did well. He was very mobile. He looked locked in. He looked good. He looked good. And that's something that, you know, I, I'm not a Baker Mayfield hater. I'm not a lover. I know there's guys out there that absolutely love everything he brought to the table. <clears throat> Excuse me, his personality. And just the, the style of him, right? That, that college OU feel, just that vibe that he brings. People really enjoy that. I'm not a lover, I'm not a hater, but I want to see him succeed. I want to see the Browns do well. I think he looked very good. Speaking of the Browns, Des Bryant came in and stated on Twitter, you know, hey, I'm, I'm willing to listen. Let me go down there and check it out. My man was waiting to see how the Cleveland Browns would look in preseason game one, and then he tweeted it out. That's funny, but I would love to see Des Bryant on the Browns. People are saying, Des is washed up. Why do you want him? Come on. We're talking about a team that goes 0-16. I want to see the Browns get somebody like Dez who will clearly be a better feel. Who will clearly help this team out compared to what they've had. Callaway looked good too, speaking of a speaking of the Browns. Saquon Barkley on his first run had a little magic. Read the offensive line. Looked for the holes. Found a nice gap. Went for a 39-yard run. Outstanding for his first run with the Giants. The Washington Redskins pick up a running back, a stud running back from LSU. Guys, he tears his ACL. That is so devastating. I feel for him. I do. I've been an athlete. I've been ready to rock and roll for a season. Bang, surgery on my hand. Missed the whole first half of the season. Had to find a way to crawl back in. I've been there. And it's devastating. So I feel for him. I hope he finds a way to recover. I hope he finds a way to find a, somehow, deep down, find a positive in this. And, and and build some momentum moving forward with physical therapy, getting back at it, finding a way. He's out for the season. You also have the Colts, young stud, going out for the season. Same thing. So a lot of injuries going down on that first Thursday. Calvin Benjamin, Cam Newton, they meet up at, at the field. Cam goes for the dap. A little bit of disrespect. Benjamin walking away. Cam just following him, trying to figure out what, what? Huh? So there's some beef going on. Beef going on between two former teammates. Andrew Luck gets his first preseason touches in quite some time. A few years now. Does well. Gets a couple touchdowns. Finds the rhythm again. He's just happy. He said, listen, I'm just happy I'm playing football. And I love that. I want to see him succeed. You never want to see guys fail, right? As athletes, as someone who just loves sports and athletes, I love to see people succeed. You go down for a couple years. You got to face that type of adversity. You can only imagine what he's hearing, right? Does he still have it? Is he still going to be the same Andrew Luck? He's got to shut that mentality off like LeBron does. And just go out there. He wants to have fun. Find a way to enjoy football again. Get out there, play. He's just enjoying it. Stress-free. Just enjoying football. Has a nice preseason week one. Sam Darnold with the Jets. And I got on him because he wants to hold out a training camp as a rookie because he didn't get his deal done. Well, he goes out there and shuts me up because he has a nice day. He's got a nice day in preseason. A really nice run to his right and a beautiful touchdown throw. The Jets fans are thrilled. They think they got the best quarterback in the draft. And there's no there's no doubt the dude could play. I just personally don't like how you're a rookie in the NFL waiting for your deal just in case something happens for a day or two. You got to earn respect, bro. You got to earn respect with those type of locker rooms. It's a different game. It's not college. There were videos of them clapping for him, slow clapping while he came out for practice for the first day after his holdout. But hey, listen, the dude looked good. The dude looked good. And all these storylines, for, for the most part, except for the injuries, are positive stories. And I like that. I like these quarterbacks coming into the league doing well their first preseason game. 
I want to see these kids succeed. It's good for the league. It makes the league enjoyable. Josh Allen looked good. Looks like he's got a cannon of an arm, an absolute dot. He can throw the football. And I like that because the AFC, AFC East, can maybe do a little bit of a turnaround, right? We've had Tom Brady dominating. He's getting older. He's about to retire. Josh Allen, Sam Darnold, welcome to the AFC East. Maybe they can spark it up a little bit. Maybe in a few years, we're not seeing the Patriots win every single year because the Jets have the best quarterback or the Bills have the best quarterback. I personally like Josh Allen. I like his story. Smaller school. I like it. I think he's got a cannon of an arm. I like Sam Darnold too, though. I just It, it messed with me a little bit. The beginning, it messed with me how he holds out. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.